Let me quote Tyson Fury's new co-promoter here, Bob Arum. He says, the purse bid doesn't factor into it at all. The WBC wants the fight to happen. Good luck to them, but we don't need them to tell us how the purses should be. That'll come with reasonable negotiations. He goes on to say, there's no magic in May 18th. That's just one day of the year. When it comes time to pick a date for the fight, as long as the fight happens, what difference does it make if it's June or where it is? I mean, obviously Las Vegas would be a good place for it and there are other good places for it, but I mean, that's to be decided when the time comes. So those are the words of Uncle Bob Aram. This doesn't make the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury rematch seem very likely at this juncture, does it? It could still happen. I don't want anybody to misquote me and act like I'm saying this fight's definitely not going to happen next. No, it could still happen next. It could still happen in May. But you would be a fool to ignore what Tyson Fury's co-promoter, Bob Arum, is saying here. That he's not going to allow the WBC to dictate the rematch purses. And what does he mean by that? Well, he's referring to the fact that if this goes to purse bids, the WBC have decided that it will be a 60-40 split in Deontay Wilder's favor. It clearly appears to be the case that Fury's team, and maybe Fury himself, are not happy with a 40% split. And so Bob Arum, I believe it was today or yesterday, has said that he'll be sending a tremendous offer to Deontay Wilder for this Tyson Fury rematch. An offer which I have to imagine would be at least 50-50 or the equivalent of. They just don't seem willing at all to go down this 60-40 route. That could be a stumbling block. The other stumbling block could be the networks. Now, where are we at here? Richard Schaefer. Popcorn at the ready. <laughs> Some of you may have seen this interview right here. Not, not, not sure why Ricky is getting so many thumbs down. I like Richard Schaefer. I think he's entertaining. I know he's not doing so well these days with the promotion, but I think he's a fun character. I think it's fun when Eddie Earn does his impressions of Slick Rick. So, yeah, it is what it is. But he said that he had dinner with Frank Warren the other night. And he said to Frank Warren, this Wilder Fury rematch ain't going to happen now, is it? Alluding to the ESPN deal. And Frank Warren said, no, no, it could still happen. It's 50-50 at the moment in terms of whether it's going to happen or not. That's what Richard Schaefer claims Frank Warren told him when he had a meal the other day, that he's, it's fi not 50-50 in terms of the split, he's 50-50 in terms of whether the fight's actually going to happen next or not. As I said previously, as I reported on previously, Bob Arum has said he would prefer this fight to happen in September and for both Wilder and Fury to have fights in the interim. So we'll see what happens here. And another thing that Richard Schaefer touched on is although... Deontay Wilder is officially a free agent. He's not tied down to any particular network in the United States. There is such a thing as loyalty. This is what he said, okay? This is not me. It's what he said. He said, there is such a thing as loyalty. Now, I'm going to read between the lines a little bit when he's talking about loyalty. And I'm going to imagine that what he's actually trying to infer is that if Deontay Wilder was to go and fight on ESPN there might be consequences for that. That Showtime or Fox or whatever might not be so accommodating to Deontay Wilder in the future. Might not be so generous to him. It's not like he's a massive pay-per-view seller. Yeah, he sold a decent amount of pay-per-views against Tyson Fury, but I suspect... That was more down to Tyson Fury than Wilder himself. Could be wrong, but we'll find out in due course. 
But back to my point, Showtime or Fox, let's just for the sake of argument say Showtime, because that's where the Wilder Fury rematch would most likely be, if not on ESPN. If Wilder was to go over to ESPN, one of Showtime's main rivals, one of Fox's main rivals, and give them that big heavyweight showdown, would Showtime just shrug their shoulders and say, okay, fair enough? Or would they say, you know, you know what? We've shown you a lot of loyalty over the years, Deontay. We've put a lot into you. And for you to just jump ship and go and be with our rivals for the rematch, we don't like that. You know, we're not going to put up so much money for your fights in the future. Unless you're fighting an AJ or a Fury, we ain't going to come out of pocket for you. You're going to have to go back to fighting for eight, nine hundred grand for your regular defenses. Maybe a mil. We ain't paying you no serious money. You got to show loyalty in this game. I suspect that that's what Richard Schaefer was alluding to. Because you do have to read between the lines a lot of the time when you're dealing with boxing people like promoters because they're not at liberty to talk frankly all the time. Sometimes they're not legally at liberty and other times they don't want to damage the relationships that they have in the industry. So they pick their words very carefully. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Do you even care if the Wilder Fury rematch happens next? Personally, I want to see the Wilder Fury rematch because I do believe they've got unfinished business. I want to see a conclusive result next time. But I'm not devastated if the fight doesn't happen next as long as it either happens in September or we get Fury versus AJ or Wilder versus AJ. Preferably Wilder versus AJ because I want to see the undisputed fight. If we get that this year, instead of Wilder Fury 2 next, I'll be happy. But if we don't get any of those fights, if we don't get Fury AJ, Wilder AJ, or Wilder Fury 2, that's a big disappointment. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about Bob Arum's latest comments. Again, in a, another article, he did say they'll be sending an offer out to Deontay Wilder. Will Deontay Wilder accept? Will he turn it down? You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. It's happening, I'm out. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week covering a wide variety of controversial topics as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about £2 a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.